All right, take one of the planet Jupiter, shooting it a week later than last week. We've got the planet Jupiter here at approximately 500 power magnification through a Takahashi Milan 250 telescope and a Photonus Intens P22 phosphor image intensifier. Magnification, let's see, magnification is 500x because I'm looking through two Barlow lenses, two 2x Barlow lenses, so that uh, takes my 120, 125 magnification, multiply by four, and you get uh, about 500 power. It's, two, it's 250, so yeah, it's about 500 power. So what's here, man? Um, okay, we got some cloud belts in the middle, and off to the far right of the disk, there's a little glowing thing just off the right edge of the disk, kind of uh, on the center line of the field, and that would be the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is glowing whitely like, or light green, let's say, in this image intensifier. And then we have some moons. There's one way off to the left, the edge of the field, you can barely see it, that's Io. And then on the right side of the planet, the uh, one closest in is Ganymede, and the one furthest out is Europa. So Io on the left, Ganymede on the near right, and Europa on the far right. And we're using a Sony Alpha 7S camera connected to the Photonus Intense tube via a uh, IGT 1X relay lens. The camera settings are 1 50th of a second shutter, and the ISO is 12... 1250. Every time I move, I shake the driveway, because that's what I'm set up on. Got this from a suburb of LA, California, on the evening of April 21st, right? And there's quite a bit of sparkling because we are pushing the heck out of this image tube. We're operating the scope at effectively native as F12, so with a 4x Barlow it's uh, F48. <laughs> Not something you see night vision operate at normally, but I would say the equivalent F number of this system is F48, and that means my focal length is 3,000 times 4, which is uh, 12,000 millimeters. Damn. So Jupiter, with a few cloud belts, a little grainier than last time because uh, I got a dimmer target and I have to jack the camera up a little in ISO and the image intensifier is probably working harder because it's got a dimmer target to deal with. But uh, red spots there, great red spot on the far right. I'd like to get that with some other image tubes, but by the time I set up I'm probably going to lose it because it's rotating off to the right, so well, it'll just be cloud belts and nothing much else. And IO, yeah, barely in the field there on the far left. So. There's Jupiter, man, with a Photonus Intense P22 image intensifier. And uh, I guess we'll call that a take as I slide this guy around in slow-mo. Hopefully uh, brightness on this is adequate because I was playing around for a while with my camera settings and I guess this is about the best I can get. Okay, that's it. Jupiter 500X through night vision. Oh, and a methane filter. Forgot about that. 889 nanometer center line, 18 nanometer band pass. Whoops. Methane filter, very important. Otherwise, this thing would just be a big bright dot and I'd be cooking my intensifier eventually because it's kind of a bright planet. All right, that's it.